Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about mechanics of tractor chesses. It is one of the important chapter from AG gate point of view. Then mechanics of tractor chesses means what? It is the analysis of different forces acting on tractor body. Forces like weight of tractor, pull of implement or any other machine acts on tractor body or chesses. Let's see which forces acting on tractor body. 1. The self weight of tractor acting through its center of gravity. 2. The pull of implement or machinery connected to each point. Before we start we have to make some assumptions. It helps us to solve the equations. These assumptions are, 1. Clockwise moments are positive. And anti-clockwise moments are negative. 2. Forces acting downward are positive. And upward are negative. 3. Sum of forces acting in a plane is zero. Means sum of forces, acting in a particular plan, is zero. And 4. Sum of the moments. About any point, in the vertical longitudinal plane, is zero. Now let's consider first case. Tractor resting on the ground. Means, there is no any movement of tractor. So there is only one force acting on a tractor. That is itself weight. It acts through center of gravity of tractor. Generally CG of tractor located near the rear axle. Due to weight of tractor, at front end, rear wheels, reactions are produced, they are equal, and opposite to the weight of tractor. RF is the reaction at front wheels, R, R is the reaction at rear wheels. Now make a force balance. As all reactions are upward, they are negative, and weight of tractor acts downward, it is positive. So equation is WT minus RF minus RR is equals to zero. Therefore WT is equals to RF plus RR. Now we have to find expression for reactions at front and rear wheels. Let's take a moment about rear axle. L1 is the distance of CG from rear axle and L2 is distance from front axle. L is the wheel base. As we see, from rear axle, moment produced by weight of tractor WT, is in clockwise direction. So it written as positive. And moment due to RF is in anticlockwise, so it is negative. Therefore equation is, WT, into L1, minus RF into L, is equals to zero. So RF, is equal to, WT, into L1, divided by L. It is the expiration for static reaction at front wheels. Similarly, when we take reactions from front axle, we can obtain value of RR as WT into L2 divided by L. The reactions are F and RR are static reactions. Now consider second case, tractor moving with constant speed and uniform pull P at an angle theta in vertical plane. It is considered that the speed and pull is uniform throughout the operation. Let's see how to analyze these forces and find out dynamic reactions on front and rear wheels. As shown in figure, pull, P, acting behind the rear axle. It makes an angle theta with horizontal in vertical plane. Pull P acts at distance, L3, behind rear axle and at Y, above rear axle. RF dashes the dynamic reaction on front wheels, and RR dash on rear wheels. Pull P has horizontal and vertical component, as shown in figure. The summation of all vertical forces should be zero. There are two forces, adds weight on wheels. 1. Self weight of tractor and 2. Vertical component of pull. When we take summation of all vertical forces, we obtain equation as follows. WT plus P sin theta is equals to RF dash plus RR dash. It indicates that vertical component of pull adds weight on wheels of tractor. Now, we will discuss about moments. Let's take moment around front axle. When we see from front axle, moment due to RR dash is positive as RR dash into L and moments due to WT, P sin theta and P cos theta are negative and written as, minus WT into, L2, minus P sin theta, into L, 
plus L3 and minus P cos theta into Y, respectively. By taking moments about front axle, we can find value or R dash, as shown. Let's see the equation. In this equation, R dash is dynamic reaction on rear wheels, WT into L1 divided by L is static reaction on rear wheels, P sin theta is vertical component of pull coming on rear wheels and P into Y cos theta plus L3 sin theta divided by L is the weight transferred from front wheels to rear wheels due to pull. It adds weight on rear wheels. We will discuss in details about weight transferred in next video. Now, let's find out reaction on front wheels. Take a moment around rear axle. When you see from rear axle, WT produces moment in clockwise direction, so it is written as positive. And RF dash P sin theta and P cos theta produces reaction in anti clockwise direction, so they are written as negative. From this, we can obtain expression for dynamic reaction on front wheel, as given here. In this equation, RF dashes dynamic reaction on front wheels, WT into L1 divided by L is static reaction on front wheels, and P into L3 sin theta plus Y cos theta divided by L is the weight transferred from front wheels to rear wheels. It means pull on tractor removes weight from front axle and adds weight to rear axle. So, it is all about mechanics of tractor chassis. Forces acting on a tractor affects stability of tractor. We will discuss problem related to mechanics of tractor chassis in next session.